Hi, this is lesson six of time lapse drawing a Ferrari 250 GTO and <laughs> so much for trying to do a really good job with it. Uh, what I did was I had to work with uh, new studio stuff today. I'm, I'm not working in my studio, so uh, I didn't notice what I had done. I actually, I thought I might be moving this, this uh, easel just a little bit, but uh, unfortunately it moved it right out of register with the with the camera so you see it's kind of sloppy today but uh, actually I wasn't working on the back side of it anyway I was going to do all the front side and the uh, the actual side the right side of the car itself uh, moved it out of focus too so I'm sorry for that but I can't redo the drawing so I didn't want to throw this information away but you see there I'm going underneath the car and trying to do the part that's bathed in shadow, although it's a little foggy. I can't see it too well because the uh, focus is out. But what I wanted to show is the comparative lightness of the left front fender relative to the hood and also the uh, highlight that's going to be left in there. It'll be much, much lighter in there, so, so that'll work out. And that's what I'm doing now right up to the headlight shell and the outside uh, it's it's still okay sorry you can't see it more clearly but I'll do a lot better tomorrow we're gonna use a little different uh, setup so I don't move the easel around so much I don't usually put much pressure on it but this has roller wheels on it. I tried to lock them they didn't do too well on the on the linoleum floor or I actually shouldn't say that on the uh, ceramic tile floor Anyway, so there we go. Um, sorry for the quality of it today. I'll do a lot better tomorrow, but uh, I hope you can at least see the basic ideas of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a good register of colors so that they're common, and then we're going to have darks against the lights for more dramatic effect. Anyway, that's it. Uh, all done for today.